What up, I did Robbie from Premier Lawns. Today we're going to be doing some aerating, some scarfing, some overseeding, and some top dressing. So stick around. So this lawn here, there's there's a lot of shade in here. There's a real deep bed of moss here. So we're going to give this one a really hard scarfy and aerate, and then we're going to seed it and top dress it. So Daniel there, he's just doing the area and then I'm going to get the scarf on out, so we're going to give the lawn a really good going over today. Just to take a, a sample of some of these cores and show you what it's like. So not much on that one. You can see a bit of thatch here, the spongy bit, and then we're in the soil. There's a bit of core there, so we'll have a wee bit of moss at the top. And then we'll have this layer here, which is the thatch and then we'll have our soil, but we'll have the roots going the whole way to the bottom. So all in all, not too bad. This lawn just needs a wee bit of TLC and we'll, we'll have it back. So we're actually going in with a fescue and a rye. This is a, cause this is only a partially shaded mix or this is only a partially shaded garden. So we're just going in with fescue and rye with this one. If you're enjoying this video and if you're finding it helpful, if you could smash that like button because it really helps me out and it helps me grow my channel. We've been over this once. As we're top dressing, we know that we're going to be really hard, but let's have a look. Well, you can see all the, the crap that's come out of the lawn already. Now, as I say, as we are top dressing, we are going to be really hard on this lawn. So we'll just rake a bit off here and we'll have a look. Now this time of year is always nice to scarify because you always get lots out. And the frost have now passed, so we're ready to seed, but let's just have a look at some of the stuff that's come out of this. Now obviously there was a, there was a lot in this, so we're gonna get we're gonna get up, we're gonna get all this tidied up. Daniel's gonna rake all this up and then we're gonna see if it needs to be scarified again or are we going to go straight on to the overseeding? Alright guys, so today we're just going to be using this here, the E1 mixer from Barnberg. We use this stuff here because it's got the perennial rye and it's got the strong creeping fescue. So the fescue is going to do really well in the shade and the rye is going to just give a good hard wearing lawn and mix in with what's already there.
Right guys, so that's the seed down now. Now we're gonna start the top dressing, so let's get to it. All right, guys, now just while Danny's finishing off the top dressing, if you're enjoying this video, if you could hit that like button down below, subscribe for more videos like this. I post regular lawn care tips and tricks and bringing your lawn to the next level. Just go ahead and smash that like button down there because it really helps me out and it helps me grow the channel. Now, one of the most important bits of top dressing a lot of people don't really, I haven't seen anybody talk about, is actually letting it, letting it dry. So we're gonna go and get a cup of tea and while, while we have our lunch, then give us time to dry and whenever we come back and mat it, will mat in lovely. So we've just had a lovely cup of tea. Now we're gonna get the drag mat out and we're gonna start dragging this in. So Danny's just going round and round there. Uh, like, I think I, I think a drag mat works a lot better than a lute. I see a lot of guys using lutes. Lutes are good if you want to, I suppose, level an area, but a, a drag mat's really good as well, because it's, it's gonna, it, it actually pulls the seed down into the holes and really helps it germinate, and that just levels it off. So for me, I think that does a much better job than a, than a lute. We'd always use those in the golf courses as opposed to, as opposed to a lot of people would say to me, what's the difference? But definitely um, for top dressing, prefer these all day long. So just a minute there, Daniel's putting on the CMS shit. Now, it's actually the easiest way to describe it. It's the stuff to make rum out of. It's made out of soluble molasses, but I wouldn't, I wouldn't be trying to drink it. So really high in, in humic and fulvic acid. We did a video during the winter about um, why we use humic acid. So if you want to check that out, I'll, put a, I'll drop a link. 